Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the weekend recap number 14 of our official series, where we watch some moments from this past weekend stream on our server with some of my commentary. And as always, the server and Discord links are in the description. I'll also include timestamps for different tracks in the video. So feel free to jump around if there is any of that catch your eye. That said, you might have noticed from the title of the video, really the focus of this weekend recap is going to be, I guess, unfortunately, centered a little bit more around the VR optimization that I thought I did, uh, which actually made things worse. So let me just kind of explain. Today, we're starting on UK streets. This is the beginning of Friday. You'll also notice my mouse uh, randomly throughout the screen of this weekend. I really apologize for that. I uh, guess I left my secondary or my main mouse plugged in and there was some interference between that and uh, my Bluetooth mouse base mouse basically so if you see that here and there it's so annoying to me watching it back but uh something unfortunate i can't go back and change but would explain why i kept seeing my little dot uh appear while i was streaming so hey if you're seeing if you're in vr like me you keep seeing that pop up make sure you don't have any additional mice plugged in together might create that issue also would explain why my i think why my uh right joystick or one of my joysticks that i primarily use kept dying so uh hindsight is very 2020 here but let me explain uh, you know normally i want to talk about the lines kind of showcase uh really what's going on but i, I think today's going to be a little bit more of an open dialogue about vr and uh everything that kind of happened this weekend because it was a pretty crazy stream and uh and unfortunately not in a good way honestly i thought we got over a weekend recap number 13, so it would be clear, but uh, I was wrong. Anyway, so what you're seeing right now, I switched over to Open XR and did a lot of optimization, got uh, a couple people that were pretty knowledgeable in it. Unfortunately, I think for me though, they were using uh, Premax VR and these were like recommended settings that I tried. Now the interesting thing you can see, and maybe you've already noticed it, you can kind of see the FOV looks really wide. You kind of have that fisheye lens. Uh, I didn't really notice it in game at the time, but yeah, watching it back. Thankfully, it's only these first two maps uh, until I switched it over and and was able to correct it. But really, let me explain also while we're, we're still kind of on UK here. The biggest thing that is kind of crazy actually is in this video recap and on stream, looks pretty clear actually it looks pretty good there's no like weird stutters on transitions or anything like that but in my headset man uh in my headset it is stuttering every single transition uh cars are really hard to even know where they're going i'm actually kind of low-key guessing through frames which is really hard i mean my eyes were kind of dying here but i was trying to power through it hoping it was just maybe uk streets and then here we move actually over to clutch kickers and when you know before we've talked about the fov change and here you can kind of see that weird elastic looking uh effect i guess you're gonna see when i get close to these cars uh maybe on these transitions maybe but but yeah i was really struggling i was really hoping okay you know it's probably uk streets that's probably the problem maybe it's just not super optimized i really haven't had issues on clutch kickers before and i was having these insane amount of issues throughout this whole track actually so much so after clutch kickers was over or actually yeah i think during it uh i was like you know what i literally this is basically undrivable i mean i was even thinking about maybe editing it to show you guys how bad it was but um a it would take a while and b like i'm not sure if there's really a point to doing that i don't know uh you know maybe we'll see i guess in the future but but yeah so it ended stream uh right there and then here i i ended stream i reinstalled content manager i reinstalled all the oculus software uh and then also i should just really quickly mention this is tour was wadowski i'm never gonna pronounce this name uh for the track if anyone's curious i'll actually have in the description on the timestamps the name of the track so you don't have to go by my verbiage you can actually just copy and paste if you're curious uh but yeah so i got back on and you can actually notice already going back to the rift settings uh shout out huge shout out huge shout out to scooby actually um i reinstalled all my video drivers like i mentioned i reinstalled cm basically 
reset it from scratch which is uh you know monumentous reset all the the vr stuff with the oculus software and it was better for sure and, and what was interesting just like i said this is maybe not as much of a commentary on the driving and it's going to be more of like a commentary about just the vr situation this weekend and hey you know what i figured this is a weekend recap and this was basically most of the weekend for me for better or for worse but yeah like before i would stream i can actually hold on let's pause that thought and let's quickly talk about this we are on animal style sharking lot now this track is massive i think this is a two gigabyte track um and really <laughs> i forgot uh, let me know also if you like the uh commentary from other drivers in the video i mean everyone that i met i talked to this last weekend said it was pretty funny but uh let's just talk about the lines really quick kind of extending there transitioning right about that um divider i guess all the way to those little two parking barriers just really carrying the speed out here trying to make it smooth and this track doesn't have a track camera so you can really see when i make a mistake or uh when other people's ma uh, people make a mistake you can kind of notice like how big it affects the train and you'll see it actually in a couple of these clips i wanted to include it so you guys could see it so right there uh transitioning maybe a little bit too much e-brake going for those two little pylon those yellow pylons out running the outside all the way out if i can it'd probably go a little bit wider maybe transitioning here at the divider sending all the way out to that curb then extending all the way out to that little uh cargo container and then trying to run that red line into the inside corner and right there you can see i slowed down and didn't hit it very uh correct and you could oh, see oh, the uh momentum uh that they were expecting from behind me i completely butchered actually so here we have 40k in the lead in the frigeroni um i'm pretty much giving him a hard time throughout this whole run i muted the mic uh for the video so you guys can hear me talking over the well the gameplay basically versus like me talking over myself I feel like that might be a little excessive but yeah 40 actually doing a pretty good job and you can look at the train health here at the top of the camera if you just look at kind of like what i'm doing and what they're doing you can see like maybe taking a little bit too long transition the train having a little bit of a concentration or that accordion effect here running the outside looking for the right line i was expecting that momentum and again you can see boom the entire train just collapsing on itself this track is actually pretty hard if you haven't seen the animal style uh sharking lot videos you should definitely youtube them they're pretty cool this can i think be a really fun track but just such a massive track uh and maybe not as optimized as i would like and also the pit boxes are completely messed up so could, could be a really fun track genuinely but or like a parking lot i guess but yeah there's like a lot of things that would probably keep me from recommending that but now we switch over to a track that you guys have seen before minami chiba and then uh if i can remember where i was uh trying to pick up yeah so basically what i was saying is like I did want to talk about the vr stuff a little bit heavy maybe it might be annoying you know some of you might want to hear the car stuff but genuinely i do want to just kind of give you some thoughts about like what's going on and you can see a lot of these mistakes that i'm having here too in this view it's like oh man you're like maybe kind of weird like on these transitions you're not really feeling super confident but really like while i was driving in every single track i just was getting this frame stuttering and i think what i was going to mention before is when i ended stream I reset everything that I needed to had OBS open everything I normally do and then made sure that it was working and then it wasn't stuttering basically it looked pretty good man I was like super excited I was kind of speechless I was able to push up my res on my headset to 1.5 which is the maximum that the Q, uh, quest quest 3 uh, goes to and I was super stoked I was like heck yeah man like you know again Scooby was there helping me on discord we got it handled i super stuck i'm like dude thank you so much like finally and it, what's interesting is right basically when i hit record it uh or sorry stream and then went back into the lobby i was having the exact same stuttering right back to it man and kind of the reason why i mentioned that you know this is clear and what i'm seeing in my headset isn't is it sort of indicates like okay so there's something going on when we're hitting start stream and what I think it is, and especially for other of you, uh, others of you who might be streaming and having some similar issues, I just want to kind of highlight a little bit of the research that I've done today. I haven't fully tested a lot of these things, so I'm just going to kind of tell you what I've read. But basically what it, it seems like is it, I'm kind of fighting the encoder. So 
here on stream i'm using an encoder obviously to stream out and then i'm using that same encoder to then stream to the uh, headset itself so that's kind of going to be my focus actually i'm recording this on a tuesday a little bit early uh, so then tomorrow on wednesday i'm just going to go full in try to figure that out i have actually a couple strategies i don't want to go into it too much if you're watching this it'll probably be later than i've done all the optimizations because i typically publish these on thursday and then really quick we are now on takamaki this was actually our final track of the evening 40k with a uh with the follow on scooby scooby was on fire this weekend you'll see in uh saturday tracks i mean dude it's so funny there's so many uh comments from that uh proximity video that we did that still make me i still laugh about them uh, as as of today i mean still i i don't know i'm saying that kind of weird but but yeah the voice chat's been super amazing dude and it, you know what's been really cool man like just on the on that tangent like What's really cool about the proximity chat, uh, proximity voice chat is like, there's moments, man, where like we're driving, we're getting doors or whatever. And then like, just like you would see IRL, like we're all kind of parked up, just talking about the lines, talking about like our setups or talking about really like whatever. And it's like, dude, that's exactly what it is. Uh, you know, IRL basically, you know, when you're actually out of track. So super excited about that feature. And it's been really fun, man. It's I don't want to say it makes it more immersive, but like kind of low key it does. Um, but yeah, so, you know, at least though, I will say after I did change all those back and got it back to basically where I started last weekend, it was drivable, but it's still, I'm really guessing through a lot of these frames and you can kind of notice, um, at least I do watching this back. I'm a lot less confident. I'm taking a lot more proximity. I'm trying to push uh, through it as much as I can, but yeah, it's just a struggle for me. But now we move on to Saturday. We're starting on rhythm and flow. And if I go back to the conversation we had about the encoding, one thing in my quick research from Friday to Saturday, because I really wanted to try to improve it, I started learning about what issues OBS might have, what issues that maybe if there's like a plugin installed or like the settings themselves, and just again, for anyone that might be using OBS or is maybe curious, uh, I went through, there's an analyzer actually. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Discord. I'm happy to help out. I wanna definitely help out anyone that's having these problems. Uh, but I cleaned it up. There's a lot of suggestions and recommendations in the OBS uh, documentation. And then uh, I tried out a couple of things to, to hopefully minimize the issues. Unfortunately, I didn't want to make too many issues, especially after how bad Friday was. I was super frustrated. I had to take a break throughout the uh, Friday stream. So I made a couple tweaks, disabled like some plugins that were set up on OBS. Uh, again, still the same issue, but that brings me back to the uh, encoding issue. So you didn't notice, but actually on Friday, and you didn't notice because I had edited it out, but on Friday, there was a moment, man, where I was drifting and all of a sudden, dude, all the stutters went away and I was like, yo, this is it. Like, oh my gosh, this is finally like, I don't know what happened, but it just like resolved, right? Well, unbeknownst to me, uh, the stream died. <laughs> so OBS, I guess, crashed. I didn't know. People were like, oh, dude, what happened? And then, I, then it kind of clicked again more for me. It's like, okay, so it is more of a signal that there is a problem natively with a uh, something going on with obs vr and and uh set of corsa really quick we are now on sunrise circuit also a pretty interesting track it is starting to grow on me i'm starting to learn a little bit more throttle control here um you'll probably see me try to keep up with turbo as best as i can but the way that his driving style is actually really good i think for this track in general but definitely for this track but but yeah so that kind of lit a light bulb in me saying like hey dude if the stream is is dying um, if this is, issues are happening and then I started just kind of thinking about it throughout the day and honestly as we're talking now throughout the, the rest of the weekend slash week is like I've always had this little stutter bro like I've always had this little stutter especially when I was on uh, a single screen monitor but even so like so much more dramatically in VR it, it is like a like I've been mentioning over and over again uh, the stuttering continues to happen and, and basically like the best way I can maybe explain it is you watch it like a transition right here the car like it's almost like um like where the car is and then was and is going is kind of all like rendering in a weird spot so i'm actually kind of seeing like 
basically like three copies of the car and i'm trying to like determine like where they're probably at which is insane and i mean i don't even want to talk about how much that breaks immersion but um thankfully it's really clear through uh for stream and, and obs so that's okay at, at least for this weekend so anyways as i was saying man uh basically yeah was able to bump up the resolution which was sensational man like that if you have a quest 3 and you're not using point 1.5 and trying to make it work man like the game you know looks so much better like i i i literally don't have the words for it bro uh so i definitely recommend doing that but you know the other thing too is within the game itself like i was seeing a very steady uh 90 frames per second so again like it the, again everything i'm saying like i'm just trying to walk you through like my mental of like okay well what could it be what could it be and and shout out to everyone by the way in the stream that was offering to help a lot of people was like oh dude i'm so sorry like you know let me know if you need anything and there are so many i think everyone's setups are different and it seems like my setup because of obs is really where this is coming down to as i've already mentioned but really quickly for anyone's curious we are now on mihan uh, Scooby, like I mentioned, I believe earlier, throwing some crazy nice leads throughout uh, really the rest of Saturday, but on this track too, was was really fun to follow him and try to get my lines a little bit tighter. But I was also, this track, I don't know why, but it, the stuttering was just pronounced extremely hard. So as far as like the VR stuff goes, just because I want to kind of wrap this into maybe a little bit of a, uh, like a like an ending not a conclusion necessarily but just kind of giving you guys some thoughts of where i'm at and and next weekend's recap i do maybe want to take some time i'm praying a little bit low-key but uh definitely like hoping i can sort out these issues and have it 100 for next year I, i'm a little bit I, i'm actually pretty confident uh but i don't want to say for sure either way uh really quick if you have i think it's a 3000 or 4000 series card uh from nvidia they have a new NVIDIA app, which you can download and actually overclock safely. That doesn't void your warranty in the app. Uh, definitely would recommend maybe checking it out. I don't think that's going to solve the issue, but I just want to put that out there. And then also just for those that may be curious, basically I run a 4090, which I'm very blessed to have, but I definitely uh, justified it by like, oh, okay, I'm streaming. I'm, I'm going to need something like this. And uh, where I'm going with this is we talked about encoding. There's a lot of different ways to encode. I think one thing that I was thinking of is the 4090 is very unique where it can actually run two separate encoders. So the way that my OBS is set up personally is I have the stream running, but I also have uh, a recording and that's actually what you guys are seeing right now, uh, but it matches the same encoding settings to not draw too much performance uh, out of my GPU, CPU. But then if you think about it now, there's a third aspect, which is brand new which is the VR, right? The VR is running the same encoder. And uh, I think that's where the problem is, man. So uh, basically just a general sense, I'm just gonna say my next process. Oh, and then really quick, uh, this track is OGO Akaji Toge. Uh, pretty cool track. Shout out to Clutch Gang for making it. Uh, it's growing on me, wasn't a super big fan. Uh, while I'm talking, if you watch, there's some pretty crazy lines that Scooby's taking and especially at the like where the pits are going back onto the track uh there's i think there's a three wheel motion at one point in here uh it's hard to like focus on the driving and think about what i'm trying to explain to you guys i don't really have like a script for this i'm just kind of talking um but yeah so 4090 does allow you to not only have two in enco different encoders at the same time but it also i think it allows up to eight concurrent encodings encodings encoders uh, and my stream uses NVEC, I believe, 264, which is GPU bound uh, encoding. Uh, and then as I mentioned, the recording is doing the same thing. And then uh, my VR is using obviously the same thing. Oh, not obviously, but I believe it's using the same thing. So a couple of things that I'm thinking of is changing the, the encoder because of the flexibility the 4090 gives me, thank goodness. Uh, and also it's super expensive, so I hope it does. But uh 264 or 265 natively through the meta app is this a three wheel yeah that's crazy watching back um and then also one other thing i've been seeing a lot of people talk about is uh av1 man and and i've gone through this rabbit hole of encoding and how on how 
uh excuse me on how like everything works uh but basically man that could be a solve but it would take me into the wireless realm which it seems like wireless if you have the router to support it which i think is like a 6g uh something something i mean those of you that are smarter than me can probably know exactly what i'm talking about but i have a router to support it i haven't really used it because i thought the latency would be increased which it might which it might uh but also like um i don't know i would <laughs> when i was a kid you know i always thought cables were the best thing and that's the best for latency we'll see right we'll see so anyways that is a long very long drawn out way to say like uh basically like i feel i was very optimistic that i would be able to optimize my settings to really be good and not have any more issues and i and i think i did take two steps back but i did take a couple steps forward i think here at least like I've definitely opened up my knowledge base a little bit more to the encoding and how that works with the GPU. Um, also, I realized, man, you're actually watching non-stabilized VR, which is insane. I actually was gonna run a stabilizer for the weekend stream and I ended up didn't because I kind of liked the raw feeling and somehow like my personal neck effects, uh, you know, like my physical neck seems like it's stable enough. And I kind of like that raw feeling of like what it would look uh look like in the car but like let me know i mean it it does doesn't look bad watching it back and then really quick abisu nishi missouri is our next track and also interesting enough the track cam changed uh for better for worse and also i guess maybe this might be in part two when i reset content manager and actually i reinstall pure and all these things uh i updated to the latest um, csp and i updated to the latest um, content manager yeah i think both of those things are kind of synonymous but interesting it kind of does look a little bit different you'll have to let me know what you guys think about the filter um i did get a couple compliments uh but i'm not too sure like watching it back exactly how i feel i might i know i can go in there and edit some values i think we're looking at basically the default setup but uh but uh, yeah so man it's always hard to like i'm losing my train of thought a little bit on uh, switching on the tracks but uh yeah so non-stabilized so this is what you're watching non-stabilized and then uh you know beyond that i think i'm gonna try a little oh this is what i was gonna mention Be when i was doing this research i actually also found out that there's a new like um oh, man i wish i remembered i should take notes on what it's called but there's basically this new way to stream uh i'm really not saying it correctly but basically what it does is it sends your stream yep. to multiple encoder channels to twitch um maybe i'll link the documentation in the in the description just so if you're curious about what i'm talking about I, it'll probably explain it way better than uh, i'm doing right now at the moment but it's supposed to help like anyone that has maybe like issues running a stream uh to load it a little bit easier and then it seems like it gives a little bit more bit rate actually for myself i'm not too sure how how that works 100 percent but that is going to be a big thing that I'm going to learn or, or sorry, test tomorrow. And then also I'm going to be testing a couple of settings. There's a psycho pass and a look forward setting in OBS too, which, uh, I've under, which I have understood to use CUDA cores or your, or on your GPU, which can also cause issues like this. So that's something that I want to try to work on those. These I'm kind of honestly, uh, if I'm being honest with you watching, like I'm just kind of telling you my thoughts, like it's not super coherent, but I hope you're following and it makes sense. But that's kind of my strategy in a nutshell. And I want to make sure that I have high stream fidelity. I want it to look really good. I want it to be immersive as possible for everyone, including myself. And then obviously like, I think the key here, man, I, and I genuinely believe this is like, I feel like I'm driving with one hand behind my back. Like, those moments where it got clear, those moments where I tested, and unfortunately I wasn't smart enough to think about testing with OBS on. I just had an OBS open, but obviously it's not encoding if it's not running. Uh, you know, obviously hindsight 2020 on that. But like when I'm able to just drive and just get engaged on the uh, on the VR man, like it is so fun. Like I, I wish I had the words to tell you. Like even through all of this. I would maybe argue like a nightmare. Like I, that sounds a little bit too uh, yeah, dramatic for sure. But like even throughout these things, like I still genuinely, man, have been enjoying VR so much. And I just want to get those clarity, those moments of clarity more like long-term. 
uh, I think that would really help and and I think I'll be able to improve and not have to guess on these transitions and uh and actually be able to drive with everyone so anyways like I, I didn't really like time my spiel that's kind of like all of the knowledge jump out of my head into your head hopefully that makes sense man um I probably don't want any recommendations yet on what I can do different like seems like everyone has a lot of different perspectives on and what and how things should be done you know you have like the i think it's the open xr i believe that's like the meta uh encoder or something to that effect um and then you have like the i think i'm, I'm i think i'm thinking the wrong thing but anyways like you have that and then you have like the rift selection and cm and then you have the open xr uh within cm2 and then you have virtual desktop and this and that and this and that and it's like you know, it, it, there's so much information in it, and it does seem like everyone's setups are so different that uh, my setup is genuinely so different than uh, everyone else's. I think the streaming aspect really oh, no. makes things a lot different uh, for me. And the other thing too, like I really haven't even talked about it, but I just want to say like the track cams as well seem to be a common issue. Something thing. about oh. it running on, and like if you had a dual PC setup, which I don't, if you had like a track cam set up on a second PC or something, it actually, someone had mentioned it has, actually has to be on the same GPU. So, I mean, that even might be running, um, you know, that goes through content manager to OBS and passes it through. I don't know what, if anything, like that resource wise that might use, but that could also be uh, making things difficult for, or maybe let's just say unique, well, difficult, but definitely unique for my setup. So, like I said, the big challenge that I think I have now is just figuring out um really what's going to work best for me i i was like gravitating towards uh virtual desktop but that would then take me into steam vr kind of want to stay away from it i know there were updates and whatnot but hey like if you guys have any thoughts i mean I'll, i'm open to hear them i just want to be transparent and just say like you know this last weekend i took advice of uh you know someone who's definitely experienced and uh def definitely has a different setup and it just was not the right call for me that said someone else uh i kind of explained to them a little bit of what i did they replicated a little bit and it did make a difference for them so like i'm not saying that it's not a, uh, a good setup or a good optimization i'm just saying for my very unique setup uh definitely is a lot different and i can see probably why people don't stream with vr there's not a lot of information on it i mean trying to find something with a set of corsa and vr and obs is uh, a little bit difficult so Hopefully this is a little bit informative, but at the end of the day, man, like through all of this, like I said, I, I don't see myself switching back to a single screen. The VR immersion is just bar none. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Like I, I, I can't wait uh, to get it all fixed. And I know I will. It's just one of those things. It's going to take a little bit of time. And it sounds like from what people were telling me, man, uh, this is a common situation for, uh, or like vr users like the first week or two uh, go through like a massive amount of struggle so yep that seems to be me a hundred percent dude not gonna lie but definitely worth that at, le at least again i don't have any triple experience uh yeah i don't even think i've sat in like a triple monitor but i really enjoy like the vr and just kind of getting honed in not having any distractions around you just straight up focused man but that yeah that that's kind of where i'm at so i'll let you guys know hopefully this weekend works out it seems like that's really uh where we learn if things are gonna make or break anything but thanks for uh everyone being patient with me this weekend working through it i want to continue to to bring uh high quality for everyone to, to watch here on youtube but also obviously on stream so hopefully we find that i'm sure uh we'll get there I really do want to avoid, I think the easy answer, maybe some of you are thinking like, well, bro, maybe you should think about a second PC. Like, yeah, I, I don't really want to. I think that's like my nuclear option. I really rather not um, for a multitude of reasons, but there's just a lot of complexity that goes into it. I, I can literally hear people like, <laughs> like in my head, I'm like, I can hear someone be like, bro, it's really not that hard, bro. Like you just got to do this, but you know, it's just a personal thing man it's just a personal thing i'm hard-headed and i like to make things hard on myself as you can see so anyways by the way i forgot to mention that was villain sportsland that we just watched and then we finished out on steel yard and uh 
well while, while we're here actually and talking about just like setting stuff one thing that we were testing on here is a lot of people uh actually let me rephrase that a couple people were kind of saying like oh well you know the day and night cycles are cool but at the same time for the server and people running it like i do think that that's probably creating performance issues because as the sun moves the shadows have to render for everyone in the lobby which is honestly a fair point uh, so we tried basically turning off the weather transition just running custom shaders patch uh controlled weather not a notable uh noticeable difference for me obviously my uh setup is completely scoffed at the moment but didn't really seem like it affected too many people now that said i actually had a conversation with uh uh our friend otm turbo about maybe some ways that we could do it a little bit different and one thing that we were kind of spitballing back and forth at least that i was thinking of is like one one thing we could maybe try and maybe i'll put this in the discord i'm still not really sure i'll definitely get feedback before we make any change like this but uh maybe doing instead of like a night day cycle doing like a really like a sunny like midday to like more of like a cloudy to like a really cloudy maybe even potentially i'm not saying for sure but like potentially like rain is all all, all cosmetic so that'd be whatever but like having more of that dynamic weather versus the night and day what sucks though is i love the sunrise and sunset uh like it, it is honestly i don't want to say beautiful i mean it's kind of uh aggressive but it is really nice to look at i mean i'd say beautiful man. It's, it's pretty nice so we'll see just kind of pulling that out there but for those of you that uh have lasted this long through my rant man appreciate you coming through watching the videos um i appreciate everyone that's been like you know a lot of new subscribers lately everyone's like vibe with the video the comments the likes people coming in from streaming and genuinely guys like if you want to get better if you want to you know just drive with like i would argue like high uh performing or maybe quality drivers like please feel free to join man the only thing we ask just have respect for the drivers in the lobby and uh use your reset uh reset to pits button if you get in a weird situation or you're gonna crash other than that man we love to have you so don't hesitate coming in you have any questions uh feel free to reach out our discord like i said i watch it all the time a lot of people will be there to help you and then within the server like sometimes it's a little bit hard but we do have the proximity chat so genuinely if you're watching this feel free to join the more the merrier and we really want to have drivers that are trying to improve it and get better and that's kind of our personal mentality so the more drivers we can have like that the better for i think everyone but yeah thank you guys so much for uh listening to this long vr rant we will get there slowly but surely hope you guys have a great rest of your week i hope to see you guys on the track this weekend and other than that man appreciate you stopping by and hopefully we have some positive news on our next video peace